what's up guys welcome back to another video i don't know about you i put you first i bought some new flowers they are dead first you are in last night i was having a bible study and i'm literally i've come to know right now and say like i don't understand how people can say christianity is boring like each his own though but for me is that i find joy when doing bible study with somebody else not gonna lie to you know doing bible study by yourself sometimes it can be so boring you know but when you have somebody to communicate with or debate with or you know just have a conversation about something in the bible for one you get more understanding it is fun like oh my god i love it i love doing bible study so last night we were trying to figure out a few stuff you know the more you read the bible the more you know about certain things and then in genesis i was like okay something to really add up and this is this is why it is so important for you as an individual us as an individual so have a relationship with god read our bible and get the understanding for ourselves versus what we were taught at church or whatever sometimes some of these pastors they are preaching but they are not teaching and it's it's, it's a difference god know where my do <laughs> may i go say that much he knows exactly what he's doing love this i just feel like everybody's supposed to have a relationship with god it is so so important because the bible teaches so many things but i got so excited last night i was into it i love god and getting to know him for yourself personally is one of the best things ever you can do for yourself some of these church they they created or they give you a um they give you a what's the word what's the word they make god look like he's a monster you want afraid of god like you're supposed to fear god but not be afraid of him it's two different things and then look down find your certain way and make yo you feel like you can't go this is my example ladies especially the females in the church a lot of backslide females one of the most popular thing that got them out of the church are make them backslide is fornication a lot of them in the church fornicating and dear come a baby right but the church what the church does once you are in the church you are not married and you got pregnant it's like if we hear them look pan you or them so 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 boy you it just not give you no vibes to go at church because in your head and where them teach me it's like you broke one of the commandments so you have to the outer church you know one kids are a blessing from god himself so i don't think he's gonna penalize someone for something that he has blessed them with despite how it come about you understand i feel like churches need to stop be discriminative of things like that and stop lead the church sisters out of the church better yet come together talk to them you know have some from a conversation or you know still welcome them same like if you're not married you can't some church if you're not married you can't depend choir you can't do certain things in the church you can't hold certain position in the church like what you guys are segregating and it's not fear and you wonder why a lot of people young people do not want to come in the church the church is one of the most judgmental place on this earth believe it or not my church and this is why i love my pastor to the moon to the moon when I, back in 2012 i got saved i tell him a long time i tried this you know i got saved in 2012 april right and i came to jamaica the june and i said to my husband my, my baby father then said i called him and i said look you know we don't know because me i got baptized and we don't do this we have to get it right or not on that one i came to jamaica i spent two weeks and one week passed we don't do not we not touch either each other or anything at all the other week now we went to the beach 
on a Thursday, I will never forget that day. We went to the beach on a Thursday, and I don't know how it happened in the water, but it happened, and the result was Brakaila. When we come back up a foreign, it's like we're not going to church because, like I said, how the church people paint stuff like once you're in the church, you're not married, you got pregnant, you're out. They make it seem like it's an organization where you know once you slip aside and you're, you're gonna lose a spot or something like that i don't go to church my pastor she called me she's a prophecy i tell you guys this all the time she called me and she was like why are you not coming to church i'm gonna see you come to church and i was like reason why we never even got church but fuck my pastor say everything my pastor she, god i go sure the things them my pastor say everything i'm gonna do this i just go blank for your mate and then she just burst out I know, I know that you're pregnant, but guess what? You also got engaged. I'm here, sir. Oh, she know what all of this. She could have told me I'm pregnant. I'm gonna get engaged. Wish I did got engaged. She said, Look here, not come at church. Nobody not have to know your business. You have a ring on your finger. Nobody not have to know, say you're, you're not married. I love pastors that are like that. See him where in a body may go to church, a third sister she got pregnant and she, she, she just welcome you. She don't make you feel ashamed, embarrassed or anything. What we need to understand as people is that our God is a merciful God. He's a forgiving God. And he never tell we say we are going perfect. He never tell we say it's going to be easy because trust me, being on this journey, it's not easy. But one thing I can say is that the church they need to clean up they need to clean up and go out and start winning souls for god the right way stop being discriminating stop being judgmental because all of us is gonna have to answer to him and when we read and when we understand it now the bible is that the next judgment day it's not gonna be pretty because our god is coming back angry okay he's coming back with a wrath you understand so we have to clean up we have to clean up so the young people that can come in a safe place feel loved feel welcome not no one judging them or gossiping about them god is good god is good i'm gonna thank him every day to change my life completely i'm a work in progress it's still a work for me, it's still not perfect, I still make mistakes, I still slip up, but my God is a merciful God. And when you are trying, He will help you. He will literally help you once you're trying. You're trying to be a better person. You're trying to, you know, build that relationship with Him. He will, he will help you. It's a whole lot of stuff I want to talk about because no one will talk about it. Because like I said before in my last video, we can learn from each other and sometimes I have to literally like break down things for people to really get it. When I said Satan blesses you, I want different kind of blessings. You have to just read with understanding and wisdom. You understand? But Satan gives people stuff. The only thing Satan can do, and guys you have to remember, is blow breathing man. He can't create but he can imitate. Okay? Don't feel like he does not care him could have stepped to jesus when jesus was coming off his 40 day and 40 night fast god allowed him led him to the wilderness for lucifer to go there and to tempt him just like adam he led lucifer to adam in the garden because that's a way of testing if he's ready because remember so he never have certain powers he never have certain things yet he, he, he was in a testing phase at that time jesus yes he was he was in a testing phase at that time and when he led him into the wilderness for lucifer to go there and go on with himself but god had to do what he did for today and forty nine fast he was preparing him literally you get a month and change just killing your flesh and that is why it is so important to fast it is super important to fast fasting give you that 
intimacy with God that alone time fasting help to build that faith to build that relationship where if some temptation come your way you are not too quick to feed your flesh because you you fast and the more you fast and the more it's like you're gonna, you're gonna shed your flesh because you're gonna allow the Holy Spirit to have his way you're gonna be surrendering and submitting to him when you do not react to your flesh you understand so fasting is super important super super important and I always tell people when you're going to fast keep your mouth shut nobody needs to know it's your mama not your dad and not your man not your woman not your kids you and God because what you don't understand is speaking that you're gonna fast today or tomorrow allows the devil to meet you at your fasting destination and then what's gonna happen when he meets you there a lot of things are gonna go on you're, you're, you're gonna hungry it's, it's just a lot that's gonna go on I always tell people keep certain things in your mind he cannot know what's going on here talk to God here ask for stuff here pray out to God aloud talk to him thank him aloud where him can hear and him can go mad but when you ask for things pray for certain things whatever it is do it in silence with you and God alone because Satan don't know him can destroy and a lot of people may think that yes he can read our mind but he cannot he just can put thoughts in our head you understand he cannot read our minds so when you're going to fast keep your mouth locked zip it that's the key nobody don't need to no more you cannot prove nothing you understand but we're gonna you know get into things and i can't wait i can't wait to start i can't wait to start talking to you guys i can't wait for us to have conversation to help each other and stuff like that we're going to talk about everything because it can get crazy it can really and truly get crazy but i just want you to remember you have a purpose you are here for a reason you may not know what it is or you may be going through stuff has one pass one come one pass one come just know that a calling is on your life and the devil what you have to understand is that the devil don't go away no another for him meaning if you are facing stuff and this is another thing we have it's just so many things guys i just because this can be so contradicting because a lot of time a lot of times we as people we know we're going off a topic but a lot of times we have to say this first because a lot of times we as humans blame everything that's bad happening to us on the devil it's not always him it's not always him you understand me god allows stuff to happen to see where we are you know to see what we will do is like god tests us satan tempers it's a difference so if you have got through something just go on all it go on all it and just know that you have a purpose because satan not trouble nobody when i have not forgive him and i have not lose you have something in you that he wants that is trying to keep you away from getting from identifying to from realizing you understand so you just have to keep pushing do not give up and when you're about to get it it's gonna come real hard so you have to go in this weapon is what you're gonna use to fight and to conquer him and to be victorious over him you have to use this and i always tell people praying scriptures are very effective and very important come here tell you say you want to see god work for you pray your scriptures them get into this tap into this stop being consumed with stuff of this world and consume with what's in this because there's gonna come a time when we don't have this they're gonna take this from us and everything in this we're in this we help with 
But I have to have it right as so. Because if you don't have it right as so, dog, I have to have my love. I have to have So right now, you have the time to get all the information, all the scriptures, to defeat the enemy. Get them here. Because once this is gone, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a video. And be a part of the squad. And I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye!